Hello guys, welcome to my channel and also welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll teach you guys how to host your very own server panel for everyone to use and especially you if you've been lazy to do stuff and you know, if you hate doing the console command thing, it's very complicated, I know, I'm sorry. So, before we start this video, I suggest that if you have a Google Cloud Platform or a Azure virtual machine, then yeah, that's very important because without it, you can't actually host your own website without it. So, you know, you need those. If you don't have any, like, you know, other alternative virtual machines, then um, you, be you better find one now. This video requires one. But if you do have one, then yeah, I can just actually teach you how to do it now. So first thing first, create an instance. But very important. Next, we have to um, change the name of the instance. But let's say we, I want to set up a hosting only, the website only in this one. So I'll call it um, host, hosting. And next, we're gonna change the re region of the virtual machine. It can be any, anywhere you want. For me, I'll choose Singapore because it's closest to me. Next, you change the machine type. For this, it will be a, a website only, so only need two gigabyte memory. Next, we can change the boot disk, and then change the size to 20, or like, you know, the installation part. And we can change the operating system. It can be Debian if you want to keep it there, but I suggest you go to Ubuntu, and change the Ubuntu to 16 to 20, because it's, uh, you know, it's much easier, and then, um, capable to you know manage all the things. I'll select that. Next, we're going to allow traffic. Allow that. And if you're already doing this for a um, a website only, then I suggest you just open this because it's very important. Otherwise, then you, otherwise you can just create and then you know proceed the installation part. Now wait for it to installing, and I'll talk to you about. Now once your hosting is now ready. Now you next you connect to the SSH and wait for it to like um, connect to the um, virtual machine. Now once you are in this pa um, panel, you do sudo oh, sorry sudo sus sus sudo s. That will bring it to the console. Now copy and paste the um, now copy and paste that. It will be linked in the description or in the pinned comment if you bother to find it. I'll click enter and I will start the installation. Now, once you bring you to this, now since I want to set up a serp, um, a website only, I suggest you um go to install the panel, or you can do installation with both if you if you rather to use your same virtual machine as hosting your server and hosting your website. But you know this is okay, right? So I uh, type zero. And now wait for it, and then ask you for configuration for your database. Yeah, just keep that. You don't even need that. And then type the email, it can be email.com, it can be anything. And this one, you have, you can either put your real email or just put in any email you want. Of course, this admin at, I'll just call this admin at admin.com. And then the username will for it will be admin. This will be very important. Next, first name will be admin. Last name will be admin. And the password will be admin. And then now, then the most important one is the setup for the panel one. So next, we're gonna copy the external IP and go to your website um, DNS panels. For me, I use Cloudflare. I have a domain for it, so I just create a new record. Copy the IP address, and then I just turn it off. For me, I'm just gonna use the I'm just gonna use it without the um, subdomain. But if you have a subdomain, you can just put anything like. Those LES and Peter ML or something like that. For me, I'm just gonna use um just the domain itself. So once you got that, click save. Make sure the proxy is off. And then now, once that is ready, just copy the the domain. Go back to your DNS. I mean your SSH. Um, now copy and paste it. And now click enter. It'll say configure it with the firewall. Click yes. And click yes, and then click yes, and we'll um, try and check that the, the DNS. And I want to show you this. Then you click installation, continue, yes, and this will in start install everything. 
Now, once you see that terms of service one, just click, agree. just type agree or just A. I don't mind. I don't care. Now, we're just going to do the verification thing. Yada, yada, yada. Just waiting for it to finish the verification. Going, redirecting. Now, if you see it's going congratulation, it means it's working now. Now, you can access your server by clicking the lesmp.ml. I will redirect you to the website. There you go, look. Now you can actually um, do, and now you can just log into your dashboard. Uh, mine could be admin, password admin. Don't worry, this website will be down. Don't worry about it. So now you got access to it. You have the admin access, the settings. You can change the company name. Let's go there, folks. And just click save. There you go. Now you have yours called host now be shown on the top and everything is pretty much here if you want to actually um if yours is like outdated then i suggest you go to the link in the description the paradoxal um um the docs the paradoxal docs and you can just read it how to update it really simple straightforward the database you don't need to worry about that location i'll teach you that in the next video no same thing Services will show the list of servers will be in your server thing. The user will be like show a registered user in your domain. Actually, you like your domain, your server panel. The mounts will be um, additional points, but you don't need to worry about that. The next is a very important one. I'll teach you teach you this one later on. But for now, we're gonna um, do that after we set up the server. So that will be in the next video. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video and i hope you this is informative if you think it's that leave a comment down below and i hope i will fix up some crap i don't know you think i have a professional youtuber no i'm just gonna teach you how to do this like next video okay okay see ya bye bye hi bye